question about me. I think in all fairness, I should explain to you exactly what it is that I do. Yo, what's cooking, boys and girls? This is your boy, Double R, Ray Ray Mars. Bringing you a quick fix of the backstage pass for today, March 3rd, 2010. The backstage pass is, if you didn't know, the official YouTube podcast of your favorite indie wrestler and mine. Chilling in my vehicular unit as we speak, listening to some WWE The Music Volume 10. Evan Bourne's theme song is Jesus, by the way. And trying to figure out what went wrong. I'm talking about my stint last night for Action Unlimited Anthracite Wrestling in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Now, <clears throat> the first time I wrestled for this company was back in January of this year. People didn't know who I was, understandably I was a new face, I was an outsider from Jersey. And uh, I didn't exactly endear myself to the people or make myself stand out by losing my match, a triple threat match to Darius Carter and the guy who pinned me, Mr. I Only Know Two Moves, Cadillac Stanks, which he really does. I believe in my heart that he only knows two moves and he used both of them during that match to win. Being in the right place at the right time, nothing more, nothing less. I decided last night when I showed up in Hanover that I was going to make these people remember who I was this time. So I unleashed a side of myself that very few people see. And it stems from the belief that your boy is in fact the hottest, fastest rising star in the indie wrestling scene today that nobody knows about. Which in turn makes me better than a lot of people. Sorry if the truth hurts, but it's the belief that I have and the belief that I have to have to have any sort of success in this business. And what did I do? I rubbed it in everybody's face. The fact that I was from Jersey, the fact that I was better than everyone they were sticking me in the ring against or with. And people really got on my case about it. And you know what? I didn't care. They remember who I am now. My first match I was in last night was a six-man tag where the people at Action Unlimited decided that, you know, they were going to make a joke out of me and shove me in a match with a tag team partner named the Mass Destroyer, who was basically some fat blob in a dumb red mask, who had no idea what the hell he was doing, and every time he was in the match, we got the hell beaten out of us, but every time me and the other guy, who was our partner, Little Nicky, were in the match, we, you know, did good. Finally, we just got so fed up with the mass destroyer that we just kind of left him hanging. Me and Nikki decided, yeah, we don't need this. We're better than this. And we left. And Guts and Glory and Mike Vaughn got the victory, even though they know that we were the real stars of that match because we dominated that entire thing. Anyway, we decided that we were going to make an impact later on in the show, me and little Nikki, by interrupting the ring announcer a couple matches later. And, um... Uh, Basically, just issuing an open challenge to anybody who wanted to accept the two-on-one match against me and Nikki, because we didn't show up to Action Unlimited to be the punchline of a joke, to have a joke made out of us. And guess who comes walking through that curtain? Cadillac Stanks to accept the challenge. Of course, Nikki takes himself out in the beginning of the match for those of you who weren't there, and leaving me one-on-one -on -one with Cadillac, who I thoroughly dominated. I made one mistake. And he hit his two moves of doom, including a, sw a swanton bomb on top of my face. Now, let's see if we can get a shot here. Can't really see the black and blue, but he, he killed me. He landed right on my face there. And, uh, it hurts. And that's the only reason that he was able to keep my shoulders down for the three cams, because I was... Really? I don't feel like listening to Primo's music. Sorry, it happens. But, uh, the only reason he was able to keep me down with that three count is because he landed on my face with his full body weight and it stunned me for just long enough for him to win the match. And I was pretty PO'd. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all. I wigged big time. And a lot of that's just the frustration of me having not yet to win a match in 2010 and losing twice to a guy with two moves in the span of two shows in three months for Action Unlimited. And... 
uh, see, it's the, the issue I have is that these people have no idea who I am, what I'm capable of doing, and my actions have spoken louder than my words. I have yet to prove anything up there. Well, how about this, Action Unlimited? Put me in the ring with somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. Somebody who knows more than two moves. Somebody who might actually have a higher chance of being trained. Because I'm pretty sure Cadillac Stanks has never trained in his life. From being in the ring with him twice, I um, think it's pretty fair to make that assumption. Put me in the ring with somebody who knows what the hell they're doing next time, and I promise you, I'll show these people why I am exactly what I say I am, and that's their new hero. Just say. Anyway, just here to vent a little bit on this quick fix special edition of the Backstage Pass. Y'all keep watching, and I'll keep delivering the hits. Believe that. <laughs>